Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, we got to highlight Gilbert Arenas reacting to his co-host Rashad McCants, stirring up some beef with his former Tar Heels teammates. We did a video yesterday highlighting Raven Felton coming out and responded to it on the Run Your Race podcast. Raven Felton had addressed Rashad McCants' comments that he had said on Gil's Arenas podcast. And if you missed that, let me just highlight what Rashad McCants said. And then after that, we're going to highlight Gilbert Arenas' reaction to everything, man. So with that being said, let's highlight this clip first of what Rashad McCants said that has his former teammates upset at him, man. Check it out right here. Before I highlight the clip, be sure to smack that thumbs up button for me if you haven't already. That helps my YouTube channel continue to grow. Let's check out this clip right here. Here's a video. Do you want to go into that? Yo, no, I, no, I, yeah, I, I actually you. Were you, you, you want me to go down? I, you want to go down there? I'm, I'm curious. I'm, I had 15 points at half, and then my coach decided that it wasn't going to be my show because it was Big Man's birthday. Okay, cool. But it was 15 points. Hmm? It had to be Big Man's half. It had been Big Man's show for the last 15 games of that but season. But it wasn't. It, but it, it wasn't because I got hurt. You had, I, I, had had an an I had an show. intestinal I remember disorder. this. I remember this. So I was already decreasing my scoring and passing more because the niggas on my team were haters. Okay, I did a full video highlighting that and breaking it down some more. So if you guys want to go check that video out, I'll have the link to that down below. So let's get right into what Gilbert Arenas had to say about it because Rashad McCants is his co-host on Gil's Arenas, man. So, you know, Gilbert Arenas, he likes to poke fun at thing and make jokes about everything. So you already know Gilbert Arenas is going to come with the jokes. Let's highlight what Gilbert Arenas had to say in response to Raymond Felton addressing Rashad McCants comments. Let's check it out right here, man. Here's the video. Y'all, listen. I seen y'all in the chat. I seen y'all early in the chat throwing, throwing up. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? What's big fella name? What's big fella name? Uh, Raymond Felton. Y'all was like Raymond Felton. I'm like, what? What's going on? What's going? What's going on? And then, and then, <laughs> and then I seen it. Damn. Oh, if I would have known this before the show, y'all know I would have poked. <laughs> y'all know I would have been out there poking. Woo! <laughs> it just reminded me of like uh, Cat, when uh, Cat Williams was like, <laughs> he just sitting there, oh, I'm just sitting. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I, I, I know, listen, I know my kids, hey, that, listen, I know my kids, Ain't going to address it, but God damn, boy, I can tell you this. This would <laughs> I don't give a fuck what Raymond said. Ain't no way. Ain't no way I'm McCants and I'm I'm addressing anything he said with him looking as big as he look out there. Oh, uh, no, nah, I'm just going to say <laughs> I'm just going to stay right on this way the whole time. That's it. OK, that's that's it. I can't get it out of my head now. Look at this. Let's go. Let's see what let's see what Big Ray had to say. <laughs> Not Big Ray. Stop, Gil. Just let, can, you know what? Let me just let's just listen, y'all. Let's just watch the video. We're gonna keep our bias remarks to ourselves. Okay. You you don't like the. I know people struggle with like saying like a father. He really was like a father figure. Yeah. Because yeah. he really was like, he genuinely cared about every single one of us. Everybody. Regardless if you thought he pissed at you all the time. Okay. Who is this? Does he play? He said all of us. Who, who, what's his name? Came after McKenz. Nah. You know, when people, when, when we get older, we don't look alike. We don't look how we used to look when we was hooping. I know. I know. I'm, I know. He genuinely cared about every single one of us. Yeah. And wanted us to succeed. Yep. Yeah. No matter if you was a dickhead to him or you was any any per like, that's what pisses me off. Nah, dog. Nah, nah, dog. No, man. <laughs> Come on, no, man, no, not today, dog. Like I want to be able to listen to what he's saying, dog. <laughs> Like, cause listen, I, <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, I, listen. <laughs> I remember this day. I remember. No, this ain't. Listen, 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 <laughs> listen. <laughs> I remember, like a year and a half ago, 
this was kind of me. I mean, not 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 quite that, but when I was holding everything on my stomach, I remember that, right? I, I remember that. We just we listen. No, 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 no. No, we're gonna do this, Raymond. Nope. I'm with you, Ray. I be, I was there before. Now I'm not we're gonna we're gonna do this, Ray. We're gonna do this together. Cause look, I was there before. I'm not even gonna lie. Right? We get we get so comfortable. We get so comfortable, right? When we sit down and we want to talk like this, you can't, you can't do this. What you look like when you, when you, when you sitting back, right? When you sitting back, this is what it looks like. You got to sit up. You got to put pillows back here. So you sit, let, the, let it, let, let the weight drop a little bit. You got to stay in like that. You can't lay back like this. We, it looks, it looks bad for us, right? We look, we look extra big and wide because you know, because when you're laying down, it, the, the, the weight spread, it, it kind of like. Right, so you you sitting there looking like this, uh, looking like sound like me. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. So so you gotta you gotta sit up. You gotta put the pillows in your back and sit. Let the weight drop straight. Everything everything is like it like it's like a melting pot. You can't relax. You can't relax this much. No, you gotta wear sweaters, stuff like that. That's all I'm saying. It just caught me off guard. Of about my teammate. Yeah, and hearing some of the you know, shit that he says. Exactly. You know, it kind of pisses me off because, like, this man, even through all the BS that you took him took him through and sometimes took us through as a team, we still roll with you. He still roll with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and so for him to say some of the things I hear him say on the podcast that they're doing and just things that he's done in the past, it just pisses me off because none of us has never turned our back on you. Never. You've always went your own way. Mm -hmm. And we was cool with that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But we still always had your back. Mm -hmm. But now once you start to mess with the legacy of Coach Williams and the legacy of what we've done mm -hmm. as a team. Now we got a problem with mm -hmm. you. You know, so I never had a problem. I know, <laughs> I know his haircut at least fitted out. <laughs> when he was playing, 25. Head double, 50. Give it to me, 50, Ray. Get, come on, Ray. $50. <laughs> I got to get that big ass chin now. I got to go all up into that. Now, I don't even know why. <laughs> this ain't even. This, McCance, where you at, dog? <laughs> Cause all I'ma do is just just make jokes. That's it. That's all I got here. I don't know who's telling the truth. I don't know if it's McCann's. I don't know if it's Raymond. This ain't my this ain't my beef. All I can do is just just listen and laugh. You know me. <laughs> Y'all know me. <laughs> Y'all know me. Scaredy shit. <laughs> Raymond showed up. <laughs> Ray <laughs> Raymond showed up. Ray Ray security now. Woo! Probably do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I do now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? saying? Because, you know, I'm not going to let you sit here and say nothing about a man that I know helped all of us, mm -hmm. you know, achieve a dream that we all wanted to do, mm -hmm. which was get to the NBA, mm -hmm. which was be successful at the college level. And we won a championship, bro. Mm -hmm. what, are you, what are you talking about? Like, it, it, it you makes... lottery. What are you talking about? Like, hey, who you think was making calls for you? Come on, man. Come on, dog. So, so. <laughs> what are we talking about? So, bro, when I see that, like, I really just. People are like, man, what do you think? I'm like, hey, I, just, man. I say he's a dick. Don't be putting pride I, say, I have nothing shit on my shit. I give the dude the He was one of the best scorers that I've ooh, ever ooh. in my life played with. Mm -hmm. I played with Don't scan. Mello, Dirk, Don't scan, y'all. PG, Russ. Like, ooh, I mean, ooh. the list goes on. I can name a whole bunch of people yeah. that I played with that can put that ball in the basket. Mm -hmm. Jamal Crawford. Like, yeah. just bona fide scorers, yeah. bro. Yeah. This, that, this dude here is still in my top. One, two, or three. Mm -hmm. Like I'm serious. Like that's 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 the level of scoring that he can do. I never. And he got him in the top two or three. Okay. Take that from him. But the shit he do off the court, just uh, can't, it, I can't rock with it. It doesn't make sense. Uh, just I've met damn near everybody on the championship. I gotta team. stand. <laughs> I got damn near everybody. <laughs> Listen, it all y'all like rock with each other. Still talk to each other to this day. <laughs> <laughs> and to get a different response to get. One person One. that felt a certain way about the whole team, but everybody has a different story. Like, like where were you at in this whole journey that we went on? Because y'all jumped, y'all literally, like I said, Carolina was always what Carolina was. Yeah. But y'all jump started the Coach Williams era to the extent of him being the head coach. Yeah. Because once, once you win that chip, oh, it goes, it goes to another. It level. goes to another level and at that point. He won his first one with us. Yeah, exactly. You know, so That's what I'm saying, and it, that, it just kills me. Good. Then for him, to, I heard for him need to hear him say that is that that. We hated on him. Yeah, I said well, what? that was my body. I'm like, hey, he said, dude, I was a point guard, so I'm gonna start right there. I'm gonna start right there. 
<laughs> Boy! <laughs> Woo, Lord Jesus! Was you, huh? Was you now? I'm sorry. I I'm pretty sure today's, you try to tell today's, <laughs> today's area what position you played, brother. <laughs> you gonna have to go to the film. <laughs> Nobody here and shit you got going on. I can just tell you that you more like the old line. You play, you play with Julius Peppers in them. <laughs> I'm just playing, dog. <laughs> yeah, like hate it. How many times I don't fed you the ball? You know what I'm saying? Make sure you. <laughs> you can't use the word feed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too immature for this shit. I, listen, I'm sorry. I'm too immature. <laughs> I'm too immature for this. This ain't this ain't mine. That McCann's got to do this. This ain't me. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. It just sounds like he stopped feeding nigga. The ball started feeding himself. That's it. That's it. McCann's got to fight his own battle. Okay. That's that's not our. This is not our beef, y'all. We gonna stay. <laughs> we, gonna stay <laughs> we gonna stay out of this one. Okay. This ain't got nothing to do with us. This is North Carolina boys versus North Carolina boys. McCant said his, his shit. Now you got Raymond coming out here, rebuttaling. That's between them two. Let, let the North Carolina boys do their thing. Not our problem. Okay, so that's Gilbert Arenas' reaction. Gilbert Arenas was just poking fun at Raymond Felton's weight game. And if I'm not mistaken, Raymond Felton has been having his issues since like 2014. I remember he had came out and said some things about his weight at the time he was with the Trailblazers. If I'm not mistaken, I'll pull up an article. As you can see right here, it says Raymond Felton is tired of people calling him fat. And then other things that's in this article, Raymond Felton was just talking about. He's just tired of everybody talking about his weight when it comes to him underperforming. And Raymond Felton was saying that's not the issue at the time. He was saying it was because he was hurt. So Raymond Felton was just saying that people are only talking about his weight gain just to pretty much just talk bad about his basketball game at the time, man. But again, man, as you can see right here, even the coach has said something about it. The coach has said that his weight gain has been an issue because Raymond Felton doesn't have his legs. If he doesn't have his legs, he doesn't have his shot. Yeah, man, I just wanted to highlight that article just to show you guys that Raymond Felton has been having these weight issues for quite some time. So it's not nothing that's been new. Um, I think this is just the biggest people have probably seen him. So a lot of people like Gilbert Arenas and people in my comment section were having that same reaction. They were talking about his weight. And a lot of people were just like, damn, you know, they didn't even realize that that was Raymond Felton talking about Sean McCants on the Run Your Race podcast. So I just wanted to highlight that, man. Y'all get in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts about today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button if you made this far in the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Comment down, new sub if you're new sub. Catch you guys on the next video. And we out, guys. Peace.